Welcome back to the shit show that is YouTube drama. I touched on this in a previous video, namely my third Endless Pixel Zombie Rush one. I will mention two recent significant dramas, the Mr. Beast and Moist Critical Situations. However, the main point of my video today is not to break down either drama. It is to talk about the potential aftermath and whether or not this will matter in the long run. If you are famous, whether through social media, Hollywood, or music, you can get away with a lot of shit you shouldn't. Humanity is cooked, and I do not mean that sarcastically or humorously. You can be someone who makes a lousy take now and then. That's fine. But you cannot get away with making harmful takes that are genuinely bad for society and can ruin lives if those ideas are used. Shout out to Charlie White for that one. At least he stepped back from drama content after whining about being rightfully criticized. And he folded to Logan Paul. Bro has no real backbone, regardless of what he said to his audience. You can read my community post for more on the LP incident. The point of that breakdown was to illustrate how these renowned content creators don't truly stand for anything. I'm not saying all popular creators do this. Still, it's plausible you've been online for the past couple of years. In that case, you most likely notice that a lot of the more prominent influencers are fraudulent scumbags and or pussies. This is where we get into the Mr. Beast side of things. Jimmy falls into the fraudulent scumbag category of celebrities. I'm not all that surprised at this shit. For a person to get filthy rich like him and even more affluent figures, you will definitely have to do a bunch of immoral shit to get there unless you're one of the fascinatingly lucky people who inherit that money. That is not to undermine what he has done, as one of his best friends and former higher-ups is a person he knew was a pedophile who advocated for and purchased lowly art. On top of that, he hired a sex offender to his company, which is based around children, and plans on expunging their record. Not to mention the illegal monopoly he ran, the solitary confinement challenge where he practically ignored human rights, and more. His silent response to the current drama was to start silencing people in his latest video by deleting comments and manipulating dislikes. The real question is, will Dogpack and other YouTubers fully bring down Mr. Beast? Or will he just be left with a stain on his reputation that most of his audience won't even acknowledge? The answer revolves around whether you accept reality or not. Let's be honest. If YouTube does not punish Mr. Beast for his actions, his career will suffer only a minor setback. The only miracle from there would be the law getting involved, but I sincerely doubt it. Many influencers may stop collaborating with him, but many only equals some, not all. We even hint at some of the biggest creators who may continue to be in his videos, such as Ludwig and Logan Paul. Why the fuck do you think Logan Paul, notorious scammer and compulsive liar, was in Mr. Beast's biggest video? It's because Mr. Beast also has no actual morals. His number one goal is money and nothing else. And then we get to Ludwig, a creator who fits in the pussy category and does not want to hold anyone, including himself, accountable for their wrongdoing. Controlled opposition really is a thing. Do not get me wrong, Mr. Beast has done some great things, but his fans must also realize that doing good doesn't always absolve you from the fucked up shit you do. But at the end of the day, he will not get punished. Neither will Sniper Wolf, neither will the Paul brothers, and neither will Cody Ko. As I said in a previous video about kickstreamers, the internet needs a severe overhaul. We need to never forget the crimes these fuckers commit as a mass collective instead of hopping from drama to drama and forgetting about the previous ones. YouTube needs to step in on matters like these and start terminating people even if it means we have to constantly pressure them to do so. Fuck the strike system and fuck the fans. They have erased people off the platform before, so why not do it here? But of course, these other YouTubers will complain and say that deleting a channel out of the blue is a scary precedent to set and blah blah blah. Who gives a shit? Same if you go after their sponsors, which is also another way of potentially plummeting a problematic influencer. Fuckers will cry and moan. You come up with a solution then, the fuck? Simply stop watching these bad apples so they will go away. Knowing damn well that will not work because there will always be stupid people out there giving them a view or people indoctrinated into their audience. Until this overhaul happens, we're running out of options day by day. This was Spono, the zombie killer. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.
Rest in peace, Susan Wojcicki.